Professor Minihija, we always raised him. He is uh, our executive director and uh, who had a great role, as all of us know, in the bringing of this Congress to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and in organizing. Lately, really, he a little bit suffered of health problem, and uh, he was not able with us to be with us. But briefly, he appeared during our meetings. Today, he would like before the afternoon closing, I think he will have a few words to share to us. If uh, Professor Vinija is online, uh, Professor, the floor is yours. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we hear you, we hear you, Prof. Yeah, at least it's just better, I can hear. I can hear you here. How's everybody? How are you all? Thank you, thank you, Prof. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. You're good, uh, although I want you all there. The, the, the. I want to say uh, for the breath to you, all of you, how are you? Thank you, we are okay, Prof. We are very okay. No, that's very good. Uh, can I give my greetings to the Kenyan and the minister? And also, and uh, at the same time, I'm taking an example of uh, the presidents in, 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 in Nessus. And I'm very, very happy to say hello to the president, uh, His Excellency, Mr. Nazareka, and also the Bureau who is also the Minister of Hindu, and they also, the Rujo Burubril, I'm saying hello to him. And at the, in the, the, the recent time, I want to say hello to, uh, I'm also sending uh, Mr. Mr. Jugag, Gurig, I'm also getting hello. I'm saying hello to you. I'm slamming all and every, Look, be the person. I'm asking hello to them all, all and serving them all. Are you all okay? We are all okay, Prof. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm saying hello to everybody. I'm okay. I've been also on the Kenyan side and I've been following you. I'm very much with you all. I'm happy to be with you all. I'm happy to see the set of Zuna uh, taking uh, example of all what you've been doing. So. Uh, with all the event related. So I'm very, very happy. At the same time, I've been thinking with all the other guys from various parts, parts from, from, the, from, from the unions who have been creating housing, all of you all. We're also saying a lot to you, all of you, and saying with our judah, everything is nice, is good, and has been nice, and this is, is fantastic for you all. Impressive and happy that I've been treated all with the influence of getting eyes, and I've been happy. How are you all? Thank you. We all are happy. Thank you for your kind words. Yes. We're all so, so pleased to hello. see you. <laughs> yes. And please say to everybody, all the Zunek people, people all the, 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 the people with the big job, I'm saying hello to everyone and we are happy. But one thing is the, the government of Tanzania has told, is going to working together to raise the whole egg so that we can run the world war. Are you all with us? With us? Yeah. Hello. Yes, we hear you. We hear you, Prof. Yes. So I just want to tell you back and say that we are happy. We are now happy to tell all the members who have been on this team who have been playing on this article. And I'm happy I've been listening to you from day one to day to day to see the hard talk of what you have done. And it has just been just fantastic. You have talked to all the leading countries in the world. You have talked to all the leaders all from the main and to the mainstream and they've been talking with us and we are with them el ev everywhere everywhere they're saying good morning to all of you all 
and we are here to give you the greatest to the people. How are you all? Hello? Yes, yes, we hear you, Pro. Thank you, thank you, therefore we have heard uh, Professor Minija. We are very happy to, to see him because uh, really the incident was very serious and uh, God helped us and uh, he will be fully with us, I am sure, within a short time, as you can see. Thank you very much. Then our acting executive uh, director and uh, Mr. Jean Pierre Walino to take these two chairs here in front. Anyway, <laughs> just uh, let me give you what the different uh, small things that will happen as a closing uh, part. First, we, we would like to have a sort of uh, vote of thanks for from any participant. Uh, we have one volunteered. Uh, he will give us impression about. Uh, how it is organized and if you, to what extent it uh, met the expectations. After the vote of thanks, uh, the Alpi Executive Director, uh, Mr. Gabra Xavier Gabramadin, will give the closing remark. After Mr. Gabra Xavier, there will be a flag, the IULTCS flag handover from uh, Alpi and the Ethiopia, the federal government of Ethiopia, who jointly organized this Congress to the next Congress organizer, which is the China Laser Association. Unfortunately, the Chinese delegation, due to this restriction, were not able to travel. Therefore, uh, Mr. Jean-Pierre Walinio, the incoming president of IULTCS, in their name, will uh, receive the, the flag. After that, through online, the Chinese uh, Laser Association chairperson, Mr. Chen, will say a few words. After him, we would like also to have Mr. Jean-Pierre Gualinio to say a few words as incoming president of uh, the IULTCS. Once we are through with that, the last word will be from the IUL, uh, IULTCS uh, president, uh, outgoing president, Mr. Luis uh, Zinho, that, uh, that will be online. These are just the few items that we are going to do before officially close and finalize. <clears throat> In line with that, therefore, I would like to kindly request Dr. Wolfram to come forward and say a few words as uh, his impression, his observation, anything that he felt on behalf of any participants. You can come here. Thank you very much, Professor McConnell. Yeah, I would like to thank everybody here uh, from ALPPI, from uh, the team, from the organizers of this first international IOTC hybrid Congress uh, for the perfect organization of the event, especially thanks to IT, which made it possible that all went smoothly. And I must say, I was very happy to join this Congress here, which was a great success in Addis Ababa. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for this uh, positive assessment.
Thank you, thank you. As vote of thanks also, we are honored to have with us uh, the Alpi Board of Directors who traveled from uh, uh, our uh, member countries, uh, from Uganda, from Malawi. Therefore, uh, our board chairman is with us. Uh, can we kindly request to say one word? I didn't inform before, just uh, it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It is hijack, very hijack. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, the organizers. I'm greatly honored, humbled, and exceedingly delighted to have been given this opportunity to say a few words on behalf of Africa Leather and Leather Products Board of Directors. It has been a very successful meeting. We started on Monday with the World Leather Congress, and we are closing today with the IU LOTCS. I thank the organizers, I thank the sponsors, and we look forward to meeting you again in China. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's really great. We are very impressed and touched by the kind words. Thank you very much, our board of directors, Chief Person. Uh, now, let me invite uh, our acting executive director, Mr. Gavra, Xavier Gavramadan, to start the, clo the closing remarks. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, uh, it has been truly a great, a great couple of uh, days. Uh, and uh, this makes me very proud of the team and all who contributed to the making uh, this great Congress. Please join me in thanking them. On behalf of ALPI, I wish to, uh, to extend my sincere thanks to the organizing committee members, Professor Mokonen for his uh, leadership and the tireless effort to make the, the, the con two Congresses uh, to be conducted successfully. Uh, the organizing uh, committee member, uh, Madame Bergnesh and Madame Tegis also have uh, contributed tant amount the success of the Congress. Uh, I would also to thank Mr. Aulacho and his IT team, uh, team for enabling us to gather from across the globe for and uh, proving the saying that the world has become a real one village. Thank you, Aulacho and your team. Uh, thank you to all our wonderful presenters, moderators, our sponsors, without whom this conference would not have been possible. I also would like to extend my sincere appreciation to the IULTCS Executive Committee uh, for working with us all the way in conducting this successful Congress. I especially would like to thank uh, to Dr. Luis Zucano, uh, the outgoing uh, uh, president of IULTCS, uh, Dr. Ansokom, Dr. Campbell, and the incoming president of IULTCS, Dr. Jean-Pierre Gaulino, uh, for all their support. I would like also to thank uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Castiel, uh, Don Carlos, Dr. Scholz, and others whom I have not mentioned them. Alpi is extremely pleased that the Congress was well attended by all stakeholders in the leather sector. I'm um, also, or Alpi is also uh, sure that we have uh, all benefited in some way from this uh, Congress. 
numerous successful papers were presented and uh, discussed in this Congress and uh, uh, believe they will contribute to the development and the sustainability of uh, the leather sector. Of course, uh, 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 I cannot fail to thank our co-hosts, uh, the government of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia in general and the Minister of Industry and Lidi in particular for their, uh, for we value highly the contribution they made to the successful conducting of uh, the, 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 the Congresses. Excellencies and gentlemen, since this 36th Congress, we look forward to seeing you again in the 36th, uh, 37th Congress in uh, China. Uh, for those who have been uh, with us for the last uh, four or five days, I just uh, uh, wish them safe journey home, bon voyage, uh, welcome, guzo. Uh, and for those who are uh, attended the uh, meeting virtually, uh, take care, uh, keep safe, uh, and uh, I wish you all uh, the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Now it's a flag ceremony. Is Dr. Chen online? Please take the floor and say a few words, Mr. Chen. Yes. Yes, the floor is yours. We hear you. Now is the, the music music time. Yeah, can I start? Hello. <clears throat> yes, we hear you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, dear colleagues and friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Very delighted to see you online. The China delegation should have been in Ethiopia with you. And unfortunately, we absent the both most important event of global leather industry because of COVID-19 pandemic. And we have to stay at home 
and participate the Fifth World Leather Congress and the 36th RUITCS Congress in virtual way. Firstly, I would like to express on behalf of China leather industry, my heartfelt gratitude, uh, congratulations to the organizers, Africa Leather and Leather Products Institute, Ethiopia Ministry of Trade and Industry, Leather Industry Development Institute, for the successful convening of the both events and such a special and difficult time. And I would also express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you for your organizing and participate, participating the two events. I believe this year's Congress will leave a different, impressive, and meaningful footprint in the RUHCS history. CLRA has always paid much attention to the development of the China leather industry with supporting from science and technology and successively organized China delegation to take active part in the international scientific activities, especially the IULTCS Congress. And no exception for this edition conference. From the beginning of last year, we kept co close connection with the organizers and promote the event in the colleges, institutes, and companies of China leather industry. And the event was attached great importance by them. And over 60 abstracts were submitted. And at last, 12 of them were honored to be selected as oral presentations and 40 as posters. In the past two and a half days, they, together with other foreign counterparts, made excellent display of their science research achievements and conduct a very good exchange with which is very useful for the development of leather industry. We just witnessed that the Congress flag has been handed over to China in a special way, which marks we opened a new page and entered into the period of Chengdu 2023 RULTCS Congress. It's great honor for us that the important event will be held in China for the second time. As the organizer, CLRA will cooperate with Sichuan University to unite all China leather industry and cooperate with the world counterparts to start all aspects of preparation work and do our best to guarantee the 37th IUATCS Congress being successful and make our greatest contribution to the scientific and technological exchange of the world leather industry. The 2023 IURTCS Congress will be held in Chengdu city, a cap the capital of Sichuan province, southwest of China in, Oct in October 2023. Maybe you have watched the video of Chengdu during the Congress. It is a city with multifaceted characteristic of regional and international, ancient and modern, especially be famous for multifarious and delicious food and colorful tourist resources. Of course, what is the most famous is the hometown of Panda. Here, I would like to sincerely invite all of you two years later to come to Chengdu to participate in the academic exchange, watch beautiful scenery and enjoy delicious food. See you in China in October 2023. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Uh, we are confident we'll be there after two years. Now allow me to invite Mr. Jean-Pierre Gialino the incoming president of IULTCS. Welcome. Thank you. So, Mr. Chen, I want to give you the, yeah. the flag. 
if you can take <laughs> yeah can I, you take it yeah. show me your hand show me your hand i get it i have got it thank you so it has been done so first of all uh let me say uh really thank you thank you 10 times thousands of times to the our friends from ethiopia that make a great job you know despite of this uh pandemia covid 19 uh they did really their best and the congress really is a success for the first time we we had a congress hybrid congress with people physically present and others through cameras so it was a challenge and you fulfill it so thank, thank you so much um of course it's a IULTCS congress so i have to say thank you to our president Luis Zunio because during his presidency, he, he doesn't have the opportunity to travel. So he stayed in his office. But anyway, he did a really great job. Thank you, Luis. And I would like to say thank you to all the executive committee. One thing, IULTCS is at the service of the leather industry. But believe me, IULTCS is nothing without, without you all people and national organization so it's very important that you organize this congress in ethiopia and of course within two years we'll be very happy to return to china after so long so long time and i know very well china and Chengdu is a really beautiful city so our host i'm sure will organize a great events so now you have to work a lot as you do any any time so mr chen i wish i wish you a really great uh ultcs congress in 2023 but it's not enough because we have congress scientific congress every two years so in 23 we must go to uh, to china but mr chen in 25 it's going to be in France, in my city, in Lyon, in September. So I would like to invite you all to come first in Chengdu, secondly in Lyon. This is for the beautiful of our industry. Thank you so much for your attention and long life, Ethiopia. Thank you, thank you. We are humbled, very much humbled for all with all these kind words. Now, let me request humbly our uh, IULTCS president, Dr. Luis Zunio. The floor is yours for the official closing of this 36 IULTCS Congress. Thank you very much, Professor. Well, in, in name of IULTCS, I want to declare that the 36th IULTCS Congress is officially concluded. We want to thank all the participants, sponsors, presenters, support personnel that made this event successful for three days. We, we don't know what is behind, but I'm sure the IT people did an excellent job with uh, Professor Alashaw. We don't know what was behind, but we only can tell you that we had some issues, but they were resolved one by one, and we really thank you for all the great work. We're very happy that uh, we had young scientists presenting papers and also participating on the Congress. This brings a very good sense of renewal for our industry, for the researchers and for the technology. So that brings us a, a good future for us. We had two young, two uh, winners of the Young Leather Scientist Grants, Dr. Caroline and Dr. Nilay, presenting papers. That's a very good accomplishment for us. Thank you very much for your participation. Now the, the great thank you is really to the organization in Ethiopia. Alpi was, was our sponsor. They own the Congress pretty much. Is an IOTCS Congress, but is owned by Alpi. And again, we don't know all the details what went behind to get this Congress. And I'm sure it was a lot of work done by this association to get 
concluded this work. We thank you very good. And also for Dr. Winnie, you know, he started more than four years ago and his dream was to bring the Congress to Ethiopia. And I think he is successful. He should be happy that he accomplished his dream of bringing the Congress to Ethiopia. Now also my thank you to Professor McConan and his team for the work well done. As I said on Wednesday, it's going to come Friday and Friday is here. What we can tell is the work has been well done and the mission has been accomplished. Thank you, thank you very much, Professor McConan and your team. Next year, we'll have two regional congresses, one in Italy, in Vicenza, and one in New Zealand, in Queenstown. In 2023, as we already know, is going to be in Chengdu, the 37th uh, World Congress, IOTCS Congress. Well, I think once we finish this Congress, I think everybody should start working for the new papers and new productions for those Congresses. Hopefully you can participate in one, two or three of the Congresses. In January 1, 2022, Mr. Jean-Pierre Gualino will, will be the new president and Dr. Juan Carlos Castell will be the new vice president. We wish them success and we will support them to be successful because that's the strength of IOTCS. I also want to thank uh, Dr. Campbell Page for the 14 years as a IOTCS secretary. Dr. Campbell has helped us a lot with guidance, experience, organization. He made a very valuable contribution to, to us. Every time we have a question or a problem to be solved, we knew that, and we know that Dr. Campbell knows how to answer the questions and solve the problems for us. So my great thank you to Dr. Campbell. It has been a great honor to be, to serve as ILTCS president. And I want to thank all for the support and motivation during my tenure. We have a very, we have a great team, IOTCS, as I can tell you. And today we have a very strong organization globally and it will continue. And this will bring optimism to all of us. You know, all my speeches, I, I talk about optimism because I really believe that we have some issues and we're going to be solving these issues one by one. I'm really confident that we will, pre we will solve the problems today and the problems for the future. And leather is strong today and we'll work for leather to be strong also tomorrow. Let's keep tanning. Thank you very much. Yes, have a blessed day. Safe return, safe journey is closed. <laughs>